I think the main reason why people don't like eggnog is because they don't make it themselves. Like I said in the intro, I think a lot of people don't like eggnog simply because they don't make it themselves. It is so easy to make. Very, very easy to make. And fairly quick to make, too. Oh, and I'm going to throw a couple twists in there, too, because, well, that's what I do. <laughs> okay, let's get on with it. Okay, the ingredients are very, very simple, very basic. Got milk, which I'm going to get started cooking. We want it to come up to a boil. I've got cream. Also, it's going to go in here. We'll get that warming up too. Other than that, you've got eggs and sugar. And then you've got my own special twist, which is the flavor component. Oh, and don't forget a little salt. Okay, first things first, let's separate our eggs. You can use the shell to shell method, that's fairly easy. But to tell you the truth, if I'm doing a whole heck of a lot of them, I'm gonna use a clean hand. But this only calls for six, six eggs. And yes, this can be doubled, because it, it makes enough for one. Well, it makes enough for me. You don't have to be overly careful with this, because, well, a little bit of egg white is not gonna hurt it. Let's get these egg yolks beat up just a little bit. And we'll add in our little bit of salt. Uh, that's a good size pinch. And half a cup of sugar. And that was uh, six egg yolks if you were counting. A cup of cream and two cups of milk. All right, so now let's talk about special flavors. I'm gonna go a little unique. Traditional, you're gonna just throw in some nutmeg and call it good. I wanna make it a little bit special. I'm gonna make chocolate. So I got one tablespoon of Dutch process cocoa. And to round out the flavors a little bit, I'm gonna throw in uh, half a teaspoon of cinnamon and just a tiny little pinch of cayenne not much just enough to wake up the flavors oh and one more ingredient just a splash of vanilla Okay, it's time to start tempering the milk and cream mixture into the egg and stuff mixture. But here's the problem. We need to stir this constantly. You'll notice how the bowl's moving? Let's fix that. Um, I'm going to implement the uh, uh, birds and flora of uh, New Zealand tea towel. And then just make that a steady base moving a little bit but not too bad slowly I'm going to well one turn that off I'm going to start integrating a little bit of the hot liquid into the cold eggs and just keep this stirring you want to loosen that up just a bit you want to get a good portion of this in here
Yeah, I'm right-handed. I should have set that up better. Okay, a little bit more, and I think we're good. Okay, so all of this goes back in here, and we'll give it a good stir. Scrape out the extra stuff. And we'll put the heat back on. And we slowly want to bring this up to 165 degrees. So to do that, of course, we need a thermometer. You can get a candy thermometer or an oil thermometer to do this. I'm just as happy using this thing. Okay, there we go. It's reading 170 degrees. I'm good with that. And why 165 degrees? Well, that's when the egg yolks are going to set and any salmonella or any kind of bugs that may be in there is taking a dirt nap. Time to cool this thing. But before that, we need to strain it. Give that a few minutes to cool down, then into the refrigerator. Okay, it's done. I uh, let it cool completely. It's been, well, I was actually out on the deck since we had a fresh coat of snow. I buried some snow around it. I let a lid. So then I ran some errands, shoveled the driveway, stuff like that. So. This thing's ready to go. Now it's gonna get really, really thick, which is what we want. So let's pour some. But you know, it's common for eggnog to have a little bit of, a um, little bit of alcohol. So what kind of alcohol would go good with the chocolate eggnog? Um, well, a coffee liqueur would be great. Um, a plain non-spiced rum would probably be pretty good or how about a chocolate liqueur like I made here I've got it oh I forgot I made that on rumble go down there and check out the link in rumble oh uh, while you're down there you know just smash all those buttons like subscribe notification bell all that stuff Let's make a little chocolate, chocolate, eggnog. So a shot of chocolate with gore. Pour our eggnog on it. There we go, nice and thick. How about a little whipped cream? That'd be nice. Go ahead and watch this. It'll show you how to make it.
Now let's pipe a little whipped cream on there. A little bit more cocoa powder. And there you have it. Chocolate eggnog. Merry Christmas. I'll see you next week.